it was bigger before, but now it is reducing in size. Or yours is bigger and you don't want it to reduce in size. Okay, this particular video is for you. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to tell you six things you should not do in order for you not to experience a reduced size of your penis. Yes, don't do these, these things if you are a man. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Welcome back. So this particular video was prompted by a subscriber's question. And he dropped on the comment section at user. He said, good evening, Mercy Mary. Please, what causes to reduce the penis in size? All he wants to know is why does the penis reduce in size? And I decided to make this video specially for this subscriber. So the first one I want to share with you is smoking. Yes, smoking has a lot to do when it comes to penal size. A particular research was conducted in Boston University and they examined erect penis of 200 men. Penises, erect penis of 200 men was examined and what did they found? They found out that the size of the penis, erect penis of a non-smoker was bigger than the size of the penis of those that smoke. So they noticed a difference in size. And also, this stem smoking is linked to erectile dysfunction. Yes, that was proved in a study that was conducted in 2017 by BJU International. Let me tell you something. We all know that for you to get an erect penis, there have to be an increased blood flow to the penis. So it's standing, so it's longer. So when there is a reduced blood flow to the penis, definitely erection is going to be affected. Definitely the penis size is going to be affected when erect. So it is believed that chemicals from cigarette smoking can injure the blood vessels in the penis, preventing the penis from filling with blood and stretching so regardless of the stimuli and the effect on the brain if the blood vessels are damaged the penis will not achieve erection smoking is linked with erectile dysfunction and smoking is also linked with the penal length of erect penis so if you are smoking and you don't want to quit smoking knowing fully whether it's going to affect your penis i think that should be a reason why you should quit smoking then that takes us to the second thing you should not do. One thing I have to share with you is your lifestyle, obesity. Try as much as possible to avoid fat. Try as much as possible to avoid obesity. Try as much as possible to avoid high BMI. Let me tell you something. Although a man's penis may appear smaller with weight gain, it has not shrunk. The reason it looks smaller is that the penis is attached to the abdominal wall. And when belly expands, it pulls the penis inwards if a man loses weight, definitely the penis is going to appear bigger. What you should just take note of is that when a man adds up weight, the, uh, the belly and everything, it pulls the penis inward, making it look smaller. But on the long run, it is not smaller, but because of the fat, it's now making it look smaller. So if you don't want it to look smaller, it's advisable to maintain a good body weight and avoid obesity. Then that takes me to the third one. The likely cause of a smaller penis is prostate surgery. Yes, prostate surgery can be as a result of a man having cancer of the prostate and the only thing they need to do to remedy it is to take the prostate gland away. So I am not telling you not to do a prostate surgery. Please and please do a prostate surgery when the doctor tells you there is a need for it. So let me just tell you about the research work that was conducted. One report in the International Journal Impotence Research found that 71% of men who underwent a radical prostatectomy experienced some penis shrinkage. The main reason for this is not clearly understand, but some people assume or attach it to the fact that the urethra is also connected to the penis. So that may be a reason why the penis usually shrink after a radical prostatectomy. 
tummy so you can do your prostate surgery it's very important so don't say Ms. Mary says don't do your prostate surgery this is just a video so prostate surgery has a likelihood of reducing your penile net now that takes me to the fourth point which i have to share with you and that is medications what medications are you taking there are some medications that um reduce your penile length and that is some antipsychotic medication some antidepressant medication attention deficit medication penesteride which is used to treat prostate enlargement so when you are on these medications that can affect your penile size so if you are experiencing penile size and you are wondering what could be the cause check if you are having any of this medication if you are taking any of this medication because it can likely affect the penile size now let's talk about the fifth point which is aging yes let me tell you something aging is a good thing so you have to age all right aging is what you cannot run away from but as a man age definitely the penis is going to be decreasing in size so take note of that it's not something of concern it's not something you should be worried about so as a man age fatty deposits builds up in the artery causing reduced blood flow to the penis we all know that for the penis to stay erect they have to be a good amount of blood flow straight to that area so aging is one of the major cause of penal length decrease so now that takes me to the sixth point which i have to share with you that is likely going to cause a penal size to decrease now the sixth point i have to share with you is peronis disease Yes, what happened in this peroneus disease? In peroneus disease, there's a buildup of fibrous scars inside the penis, causing it to become curved during erection. So most of the time, a curved penis is not a reason of concern, but it's a reason of concern if it becomes painful and it affects your sexual intercourse. So the doctors might decide a treatment option, a treatment plan that is ideal for you. So these are the six things that are likely going to cause a reduction in size of the penis. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.